everyone! Today I am doing a really fun, highly requested video. I am going to share 10 baby names that I love but will not be using. I love this idea for a video and actually like got stuck in that YouTube zone where you keep watching all of these random people's videos about the 10 baby names that they love but won't be using. And I spent a good chunk of the day listening to tons of really cute baby names. None of them, however, replaced the names that I originally had on my list. So I'm really excited to share those with you. I'm going to be sharing five baby boy names that I love and five baby girl names that I love and just switching back and forth between both of them. I mentioned that we have decided on a name and we will definitely be doing a name reveal before the baby gets here. I am 90% sure that it is the name that we're going to name the baby, but I want to be 100% sure before we share the name with all of you and then decide to switch it. So that is why I haven't shared it with you yet, but I definitely will be. My very favorite boy name this time around was definitely River. It was at the very top of my list as soon as we found out that I was pregnant. I think it's such a cool name and I just loved it right away. I love the sound of River Butler. Um, my family was a little iffy about it. They had some names that they liked a little better. So it wasn't at the top of the list for everyone, but definitely at the top of my baby boy list. However, I really do like this name for a little baby girl too, so I just really like the name River. The baby girl name that we have decided to go with was the very first name that I put on my baby list out of all of the baby names and so I'm really really happy that we are going with that however I absolutely loved the name Marigold that is a name that I was really really fighting for my family thought it was a little bit too different Casey liked it but he felt like it was a name that was trying too hard <laughs> which I don't agree with. I just think that it is such a beautiful name. You could call her Marigold or you could also call her Goldie, which I just love. I actually cried the first time that I heard this name because it just felt like the name that we should pick, but my family didn't like it. And I actually do like the name that we are going with a little bit better, but I love, 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 love the name Marigold. Another baby boy name that I really love is Gray. When I first heard this name for a little boy, it wasn't very common. I am hearing it a little more now, but I think that it is a very cool boy name, and I just love it. I think that it is such a perfect, simple, classic name, and it's just a very cool name. Great. I love it. Another baby girl name I really love is Mila. I think that it is such a beautiful, classic name, and just one that I really love. I love the sound of it, but again, it was just not one that stuck at the very top of our list, but I do love the name Mila. Marcus was a name that was definitely a top runner when we were pregnant with Gage. It was right at the top of our list, and I love it because my dad's name is Mark, so to name a little boy Marcus just seemed really, really awesome and something that I wanted to do, but we did like Gage a little bit more, and we used my dad's name as Winston's middle name. So we didn't use it, but it was definitely on the list when I found out I was pregnant because it is a name that I just really, really love. So that is another name that I love, Marcus. Another name that I think is beautiful for a little girl is the name Monroe. And it was definitely on my list this time around. The next two names that I really liked for a boy sound so similar that I'm going to include them in one, even though they are very, very different names. But I loved the names Arlo and Milo. I just love the O sound in names and I think both of those names are such great, great names. Another baby girl name that I am in love with is Olive. Again, I love the O sound in names and this is actually a name I really liked when I was pregnant with Winston. When we went to get our first ultrasound, the baby was the size of an olive and I just remember me and my mom talking about the name Olive on our way home and what a cute little girl name that would be. So that was on my list then, and it was on my list this time. I just think that it is such a cute name. And the last baby boy name that I absolutely love is the name Emmett. I think that it is such a cool, strong name for a little boy and was definitely at the top of my list. If I didn't get my way with River, I definitely would have tried to get my way with Emmett. I really like that name a lot. And the last baby girl name that I really love is one that I heard right before we decided on the name that we are going to be naming the baby. This is a name that I haven't heard very often, but I loved it when I heard it, and it is the name Bria. I think that it is so beautiful and very fitting with the name Brayley, especially because we call her Bray a lot. So I just thought that those two names would be so pretty together. Um, but like I said, we just liked the name that we picked for this baby girl very best. I do love all of these names, 
and I want to share a few more baby girl names and let my family share some of their favorite baby names. So I am going to be making a second video sharing the 10 baby names that my family loved but we're not going to be using. I hope that you like this video. If you like any of the names and are considering them on your baby list, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!